Hi, today I'm going to show you how to crochet a jasmine stitch face scrub. Hi, I'm Rosanna from Wire Crochet and in today's crochet video I'm going to be showing you another free zero weight crochet pattern. As per usual there is a full written photo tutorial on my blog and there is a link down below and from there you can also access my other free zero weight crochet patterns including soap savers, market bags, face scrubs, so just head over to the blog and you can get access to those. And if you sign up as a subscriber you also get access to a free crochet pattern. If you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and you'll be informed every month when I re release a new free crochet pattern. So let's get started. For today's tutorial I'm going to use a 3mm crochet hook and some DK cotton yarn. To start jasmine crochet stitch we're going to start with a puff foundation chain. So to start we need to do a slip knot. So please forgive me I've just cut my finger just before I started to film. So here's my slip knot. For step one we're going to chain one and we're going to elongate that stitch to about two centimeters. Then we're going to do yarn over, we're going to insert into this chain we just made and pick up our yarn and elongate until we have the same height. So there's three loops on my hook. Now we're going to do that again, so yarn over into the chain stitch, pick it up, pull, now I've got five loops on my hook. Now to close this into a puff stitch I need to hold on to my working yarn just here and I pick up my tail and pull through all five stitches. I've still got hold of my tail, not my tail, the working yarn and I'm going to insert my hook now underneath, pick up the yarn and pull through. Now I've got two loops on my hook, I can let go of my working yarn and I'll do yarn over and close my stitch and that is your first puff stitch. So let's do that one more time. So elongate your stitch to two centimeters, yarn over and then insert into this hole here the single crochet we just made. Pick up your yarn, pull to the same height, yarn over into the stitch pick up your yarn, pull to the same height. So there again I've got five loops on my hook. So now I'm going to pinch my working yarn, yarn over, still got hold of my working yarn, I'm going to keep hold of that as I pull through all five stitches. Then I'll put my hook under the pinched yarn, pick up my yarn, two loops, yarn over one more time and through. There's my second puff stitch. So I'll do this one more time with you. So elongate your stitch to two centimeters, yarn over and it always goes into the stitch twice. So yarn over, insert, pick up, that's once. Yarn over, insert, pick up. So that's twice. Now we hold our working yarn, so I've got it here, pick up your yarn through, now under your pinch stitch, pick up and then through your final two loops and that's your foundation chain. To create my dishcloth we're going to continue until we have six puff stitches in total. Here I finish row one and I've got six puff stitches. Your first stitch is always going to be counted as your turning stitch. So in actual fact, my foundation chain is five long. To start row two, we're going to elongate our stitch once again to two centimeters. Then we're going to do yarn over. And we're going to insert into the bottom here. So here's our previous single crochet. We're going to insert into the one before. So I'm going to insert and pick up your yarn, three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert, pick up your yarn. So it's still twice into each loop. So, so far I've got five loops on my hook. Now I'm going to continue, I'm going to go to the next single crochet. So yarn over, insert, 
pick up. And once again, twice through, remember, pick up. Okay, now I've got nine loops on my hook and I'm going to close my stitch. So I'm going to pinch my working yarn, pick up my yarn, and I'm gonna pull through all nine stitches, just like that. And I find that the easiest way is if you point your hook downwards. So now I've still got hold of my yarn, so I'm gonna go under the pinch stitch, pick up two on my hook, and then yarn over through those two stitches. Okay, so there is our first stitch for row two. So we've got our heightening stitch and two parts of the blossom here. Now, all the following stitches are gonna be done in the same manner. So I'm going to show you now, and then I'll do a repeat. So we're going to elongate our yarn to two centimeters, yarn over and in, to this single crochet we've just created. Pick up the yarn and stretch two centimeters. Once again, and stretch. Okay, I've got five loops on my hook. Now I'm going to go into the stitch at the bottom here. So it's on an angle, a diagonal. So I'm gonna go in twice to this single crochet. So yarn over in, and up once, yarn over, in and up. Okay, now I've got nine loops on my hook. Now we're gonna go through the next single crochet. So yarn over, insert, pick up once. Yarn over, insert, pick up twice. So every time it's always two into each stitch. In total now I've got 13 loops on my hook. So I'm going to close this as we had before. Pinch your working yarn, pick up your loop. I need to pinch this, pick up my loop, and I'm going to pull through all my stitches. There we go. This is much easier to do off camera. So, and I'll go under my pinch loop, pull through, two on my hook, yarn over to close that stitch. Okay, let me just show you. So here we've created a triple puff stitch. So it's across on two diagonals. So I'm gonna do this one more time with you. So elongate your yarn to two centimeters, yarn over and go into your single crochet you just made. Pick up your yarn, yarn over into the same stitch. Okay, five loops on my hook. I've got five loops on my hook. Now I'm gonna to go to the one on the diagonal just below. Yarn over and go into this stitch twice. Yarn over into the stitch. And then we're gonna go into the next single crochet. So yarn over into the stitch stretch, yarn over, into the stitch once more. So again, I've got 13 loops on my hook. So I'm gonna pinch my working yarn, pick up, and I'm gonna pull all the way through. And I'm gonna try and keep this as clear as possible this time. I'm gonna go all the way through, and I bring my hook down, and then just go through under your loop, pick up, and yarn over. And there is our third stitch done. So as you can see, this is starting to create the bottom half of the jasmine stitch. So continue to the end of the row. So for my pattern, I'm going to continue twice more. Okay, here I am at the end of row two. So now I'm going to turn to start row three. Okay, every row now is going to start the same. We're going to create a single puff stitch as a heightening stitch for every single row before you start. So to do a single puff stitch, we elongate two centimeters, yarn over into our stitch, pick up, yarn over into our stitch, 
pick up. Okay, now I've got five loops on my hook. Yarn over, pinch my working yarn, and pull through all five loops. Under our pinch yarn, pick up your loop, and then through the last two stitches. There we go. So every row will start like this. Elongates two centimeters, then we'll go yarn over, and we're going to go into the single crochet we have just created. So pick up our yarn, stretch. That's once. Yarn over, into the stitch, stretch. Now I've got five loops on my hook, now I'm going to go into the base of this stitch here. So this would normally be the one we go into on the diagonal. So we're going to go into the base stitch here, yarn over, insert, pick up, stretch, yarn over, insert, pick up. And then we're going to go once more into the next stitch. Yarn over, into the single crochet, pick up, yarn over again. So as the previous row, we have got 13 loops on our hook. So I'm going to pinch my yarn and I'm going to pull through on a downward angle and go through all my loops. Under my pinched yarn, pick up and I'll close my stitch. So every beginning of our row will always start with that single puff stitch. For the rest of the row, we're going to do the same as we did for the previous stitches on row two. But I'll do the first one with you. So elongate your stitch to two centimeters, yarn over into the single crochet stitch we just created, pick up, yarn over, pick up. Then we go to the one on the diagonal just here, insert, pick up, yarn over, insert, pick up, and then once more into the next. Yarn over, pick up, yarn over, pick up. Okay, here's my 13 stitches. Yarn over, pinch my yarn, and I'm gonna pull down on an angle and underneath that pinched yarn. And I'll close my stitch. Okay, so now you can see my first jasmine stitch is complete. To make my dishcloth, you're going to need to continue to repeat row three all the way to the end. And you're going to do row three three more times. So you will have six rows in total. So once you've finished, it will look like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start the edging around. Okay, for row seven, we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain one and single crochet into the single crochet we've just created on the previous row. And I'm going to single crochet and then I'm going to chain two. All the stitches will be this pattern. So we're going to single crochet into the central stitch followed by chain two. And again into the next one, single crochet, chain two. Once more, single crochet, chain two. And we're nearly at the end, single crochet, chain two. Now, once you get to the corner stitch, add a single crochet into that corner and chain two and then turn your work. And now you're going to work along this side. So our single crochet in the central stitch and chain two and once more. And continue this all the way around until you get to the first stitch and slip stitch into your first stitch. If it is your first motif, you're going to cut off and fasten your ends. For your second motif, don't cut your yarn because we're going to now single crochet your two motifs together. 
Here are my two motifs finished. So I fastened off and weaved in the ends on, on my first one. And my second one, I've still got my yarn attached. Now we're going to crochet these two together. So I'm going to lay one on top of the other. It doesn't matter which side is right or wrong because we are turning our work after each row. So by definition, there is no right face or wrong face. Here is my two pieces aligned. So I'm going to insert my stitch, my crochet hook into the single crochet created at the corner. And I'm going to match that to the single crochet created in the corner of the previous piece. Okay, and I'm going to pick up my yarn, pull through both pieces and single crochet. And I'm going to follow that round. So I'm going to insert into the next one match it to the one behind and single crochet both dishcloths together and I'll continue this all the way round all the way round now when I get to the corner of both pieces to keep that a, a sharp corner I'm going to add three single crochets into that single crochet corner and I can do the same in the other corners. Now when you get to the end, we started with one single crochet, so we're going to add two more into that to make that a neat corner. And then fasten off and weave in your ends. Here's my finished dish cloth, and this is one I finished earlier. And as you can see, with the three stitches in the corner, you get that nice little square edge. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this crochet tutorial. As per usual, there is a full written tutorial on my blog and there is, there is a link down below. And from there, you can also access other free eco crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.